How's it going, you guys? So, really quick, I want to make a video discussing who affirmations are probably most suited for, okay? Who's going to benefit most from affirmations? So, first of all, I think that pretty much everybody could benefit from affirmations to a certain degree. Now, let's be clear here. Uh, what exactly do I mean by affirmations? So, affirmations are most effective if you use them as a tool to reprogram your self-talk. I've talked many times about neuroplasticity, which is a scientifically uh, proven mechanism in which basically your brain physically makes physical adaptations to whatever habits you put it through. And in the subject of this discussion, we're talking about habits of thought, patterns of thought. And so your thought patterns are literally habits that you developed over time and that you constantly reinforce. And your brain naturally wants to reinforce them. It literally becomes addicted to how it feels. Uh, you become addicted to feeling whatever emotions you've constantly tried to reinforce over time, which means you also become addicted to the same thoughts that reinforce those feelings. And so um, it's very common for people to be stuck in a loop that constantly feeds them more and more negative thoughts and negative emotions. And so affirmations are literally you consciously choosing uh, more productive thoughts and overriding the negative self-talk with positive self-talk. That's literally what affirmations are doing, are supposed to be. Uh, I don't believe sitting for five minutes in the morning and repeating an affirmation over and over again and maybe doing it you know, before you go to bed I don't think that that style of affirmation is very effective or powerful, um, and it doesn't make sense. I don't see why you can't just uh, repeat these affirmations over and over again throughout your day. Now, of course, uh, paying attention to the moment and being mindful is very important. Um, and in fact, my, you know, being mindful can be a very powerful tool that can achieve a similar result in and of itself. But it's very hard to be mindful of the present moment when you're stuck in negative self-talk about the past and the future. And so, with that being said, you can use affirmations to ground yourself in the present. And in a way, you can shift your focus towards things in your environment, like the sounds of the cars passing by right now. And that can put your mind in a very positive present state in which your worries and negative thoughts go away. Nonetheless, focusing on affirmations throughout your day can be very powerful, and in particular, when you're about to enter into stressful situations, like um, you know, like you're about to give a presentation at work or a speech, you can repeat over and over again. Pe people want to hear my information. I have very valuable information. Um, you know, people want to hear my information. What I have to say has value. You know, yada yada. Um, say something that gives you the feelings that you want to experience, and that's key. Because those feelings are what's going to translate into your behavior. And so, with the productive thoughts, creates productive emotions, which creates productive behavior. Um, and so, you know, you have two different types of people, typically. Uh, you, have, you have one group of people who have serious life problems, and they try to use affirmations to try to band-aid their life's problems and they typically try to f feel comfortable and try to feel good about truly negative things for example somebody who's morbidly obese might tell themselves over and over again I love my body I love my body I love my body you know I'm healthy I'm healthy I'm healthy but in reality um, what I've found and by the way I'm a personal trainer and I found in, in, in certain clients no matter how much they try to reinforce positive feelings about their their body and their health, um, you know, they might still get diabetes and high blood pressure and then it's kind of hard to feel good about your body when it's creating health problems. And that's just one, you know, and then of course you'd be in a toxic relationship where you're being abused. No amount of affirmations in the world are going to make you feel better about that, okay? <laughs> it might be better just to address the actual problem. And so that's one, the one type of people with for affirmations. The, the second group of people are people who have a great fucking life and they're just stuck in negative self-talk to the point where they're not able to appreciate their life for the goodness that it is. So they're not able to 
they're like they have a great life they just can't see it because what what you focus on is what your brain will find seeking you shall find the more you focus on something the more you're gonna find it and there's a part of the brain called the reticular activating system and what that does is basically the mind's filter um, and it governs what you see in life and so one way to test this for yourself to see what I'm talking about is repeat a color over and over again green 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 now everywhere I look I notice the green and like the green is more as no more noticeable and then the rest of the colors are not nearly as noticeable um, and this is actually a mechanism that developed through human evolution to uh, help us find things like um, like food shelter and safety and find threats but now in our modern times it's being used against us because we have you know our our filters govern our filters being controlled by social media our filters being controlled by um you know like everything like all like all these all these um the like it's on autopilot now it's on autopilot it's not being used for survival and actually in my opinion it hijacks people's success and survival <laughs> um it's being used against them and so you should try your best to take control of your filter um, to produce the results you want in life. And so, um, you know, affirmations are best used for those types of people who have addressed their demons, addressed their life problems, their emotional issues, and their childhood trauma and things like that. Address their negative programming from childhood that God bless your parents' hearts. Did, they didn't mean to induce that on you. It's just kind of like being passed down from generation to generation based on how they were taught by their parents and then their parents, etc. But you got to break out of um, your childhood programming and then consciously choose what it is you want to create and use, um, like you could call it, aff you know, what pe everyone calls affirmations, use positive self-talk, okay, to override your negative self-talk and make, make, you, make positive self-talk your new norm, okay. And positive self-talk can mean whatever it is that you need it to mean to get you to that, that goal, okay? Use motivational phrases when you need that motivation. Um, like when you wake up in the morning, if you have a workout scheduled and you're like, I don't feel like doing it, like make yourself feel like doing it by using positive self-talk. Um, a lot of people, their issue is, is um, autopilot behaviors that they use to cope with it. So they wake up in the morning and like, oh, I don't, want, I don't really feel like working out. Instead of sitting there and dwelling in their, in their problem or whatever, instead of sitting there and maybe thinking about it, maybe trying to get themselves motivated, they'll be like, ah, they just go on Facebook and they start scrolling through Facebook. Now they're hypnotized by the, um, the infinite amount of novelty and they can just scroll through their news feed and comment on things and like things for hours until they realize, oh, it's too late. Now I can't go to the gym. Um, using positive affirmations to get yourself into the gym, to get yourself up and out of the house at least, to get yourself productive, that's how you overcome that. But autopilot's a huge um, distractor to, uh, from, from these things. So anyway, a lot of people have great lives, they just can't see it because of their negative self-talk. And affirmations work best in those situations. If you have real life problems like you know, like I mentioned before, toxic relationship, uh, toxic household, um, health problems, weight problems, drug addiction, like drug addiction, seriously. Um, no amount of positive affirmations are going to be able to get you out of that. Although drug addiction, you can use certain self-talk strategies to help you with. And you can use, you can still use affirmations to help you through these things. But the key is actually dealing with the problems you need to deal with. And use affirmations as a tool, not a band-aid. So leave your question comments down below. Let me know how have you use affirmations and positive self-talk to overcome your life issues. I'll talk to you on the next video.